Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to do model construction in Adenco. In my previous video, we have already discussed how to install Adenco in your system. Now we will see how to create the models. So from here, you can activate your Adenco program. Click on it. It will give you two options. One, you want to open an existing project or you want to create the new project. If you are having an existing project, click the second one. And if you want to create the new one, click on the first one. Click on it. You can give any name. For our purpose, we are giving here the name Demo2. Save. Now, we are in the environment of the Adenco. We want to bring the data file here. How we can we bring the data file? Let's see. You will go in project, import data. It will only understand the Excel file. You can hover your mouse. You can select the data file from here, open. Now simply press next, next and finish. You can see all the measured variables on the left hand side. Now, once construct, by default, it will be ready for you. What you can do is, you can just select JS1, JS2, JS3, and JS4. These four statements are the statements related to the job satisfaction construct. What I can do is, I can simply drag it and drop it in the first construct. It is so fast that it will quickly calculate the loadings you can see here. Now, what things you can do in Adenco? Let's see. When you double click on it, a plus sign will appear. You can change the position of measured variables. One. When you click here, you can rename this uh, construct also. Say, for example, this JS1, four statements, I can rename it as job satisfaction. Click on it. Now you can also move this latent variable. Double click on it. We'll try to rearrange this latent variable. So job satisfaction and four statements related to the job satisfaction. When you double click on it, you can rename the construct from here also. When you right click on it, you can change the indicator positions to left or right. You can again change it and you can make it to left. Now these are the four statements for job satisfaction. There are again four statements of organizational commitment. So, I will pick up OC1, OC2, OC3, OC4. You just activate the four statements here and click it here. And simply drag it and drop it. Click here. You can also name it from here, organizational commitment. Click OK. Now, I will pick another four statements which are related to the environment for environmental perception of an employee. One, two, three. Uh, let me try to find out EP4. Yeah, here it is. EP4. I can drag it and drop it. Now, let me pick up another four statements, AC1, AC1, AC2, AC3 and AC4. I'll again drag it and drop it here. I'll rename 
the latent variable from here i'll give the name as environmental perception click okay ac is co-workers behavior click okay now i want to see that is job satisfaction affecting the staying intention of an employee or not i want to see is organizational commitment affecting the staying intention of an employee or not the effect of environmental perception and its effect on staying intention of an employee behavior of co-workers and its effect on staying intention of an employee so i'll pick up another four statements from here si1 si2 si3 si4 and i'll simply drag it and drop it here i'll change the direction from here now simply i'll connect this one two three four it's so fast that the calculations are done simultaneously you can see here the r square is also generated and we are also getting the path coefficients how to do the interpretations of the path co coefficients that we will see later on now in any case if you feel that your construct is a formative construct here in the case of adenco it is known as an emergent so if you want to change this what you will do you will click here and you will go in properties and you will select in type of construct as emergent variable which is a formative construct and you can see the shape has changed so this is a way you can create the model in adenco for more videos on adenco kindly subscribe to my channel you can also connect to me with linkedin and twitter please don't forget to press the like button thank you